Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, a lot of things have been going on this week. Uh, if you guys own the HTC One M8 unlocked, you guys are in store. You guys should go ahead and update to the 4.4.4. It is now out and released for you guys to go ahead and try. Uh, which kind of leads me to the question. What the heck has been going on with us M7 users? Now, I am an HTC One M7 owner, and I've been kind of missing out on all of the fun that all of the HTC, uh, HTC One M8 has been having. So they've been quite uh, busy with, you know, trying to make the updates, trying to see what they can fix, and a lot of this stuff has come to the conclusion as to what is this if you guys notice you guys can actually check this out and it says smith expired now what this really is is this uh this is a system logger it actually logs every little single nook and cranny that you do with your phone what it does with that information is still skeptical or what but it's a service term agreement that you actually uh, agreed to when you uh, activated your HTC or when you uh, did your next, 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 and all of this stuff, setting up your Android phone. So I guess it's kind of creepy is what I would say. It's kind of creepy that this is on here. And every time I restart my phone, it actually takes... A good 10 minutes for this application to be like hey you know what I'm expired I do not work anymore so before all of that it actually does collect uh, it collects internal log files you can turn it on you can turn it off or you can actually uh, export the logs onto a file and what that does is that it actually logs all of that crap that you did on your phone so what does HCC want with this I do not know I do not know but what I can actually tell you is that it's just does this mine's expired on 8 15 of 2004 that's that's how bad it is I go to uh, about and it actually tells me it's the Smith application which kind of is funny because when I hear Smith, I'm like, damn, Agent Smith has been hacking my phone, really? What you guys been doing with it? But, you know, in the lighter side to it, it's just that the, um, it's just weird, you know, that HTC has been doing this. And as well, HTC has been focusing on the M8 and all those iconic editions that they released. And it's kind of leaving me feeling like the HTC Evo 4G uh, LTE, if you guys know. I've been not satisfied with that phone, although the phone is actually good. It takes good video pictures and all that other stuff. It actually takes it a lot better than the HTC One because I get this, um, I get this crappy pinkish thing on it and a lot of people have been telling me how to fix it how to get it fixed thing is I'm not really sure whether or not I should actually uh, go into the sprint store and have it replaced you guys can actually leave that comment advice down below what do you guys think should I actually take it in get it repaired by the sprint store or because I'm actually out of warranty for that so, another thing that's been actually bothering me is that 7 million Dropbox accounts have been hacked. Or, not really hacked, but they've been compromised due to a third-party software. Now, this is not the first we actually hear of third-party software uh, breaches. As, uh, as you know, Snapchat had the same kind of experience where uh, a third-party software was able to... Uh, extract or um, save all of the snapchats and all of this stuff so all of everybody's pictures minor adults old whatever 
it's on the net now and anybody who's been compromised can actually go ahead and check whether or not your your photo is there uh, I think I do have an article and if I get a chance I will link it down in the description below but if you actually have been compromised it's best to change the password do a two-step authentication uh, I guess now services are starting to actually uh, provide uh, two-step authentications where you can actually log in with your regular password but then you get sent a text message uh, with a code and if you don't have that code you can't actually get in so that's that but um as far as I know, you know, it's it's starting to get like a little creepy that third party softwares are starting to uh you know kind of misguide your trust. You download a good application that somebody else makes that's not really official and you put the trust in the developer but then the developer has something on his own mind and you are one of those persons that get victimized due to the fact that you trusted the third party software. So my advice to you guys, if you download any type of applications, whether it's Instagram, it's best to go with the company itself because if you guys go into something that's called uh, Stealagram, believe me, it's not going to steal somebody else's picture. It's going to actually steal a lot more than just somebody else's picture. might steal all of the information that's on your phone, contacts, text messages, all of that stuff. And while you're there trying to steal somebody else's picture on Instagram, that person is already stealing all of the information on your phone and is using it to actually exploit whatever he's trying to do with his or her application that they made. So, you know, my advice again, guys, don't trust third party software unless you really used it in the past and their updates have been just pristine to the point where things are smooth. But if you're just new onto the third party software uh, scheme, it's best to just stay away from it. Don't, don't download things that you don't know and you put in your credentials to log in to say Hotmail or stuff like that but next thing you know you get hacked or somebody else takes that information and sends it to somebody else it's just not right so again you guys thank you guys for watching don't forget do try to do your service update if you guys have the HTC M8 unlocked Again, the 4.4.4 .4 is out for you guys. It is there for you guys to test out. I hope Lollipop actually pops up sooner than to the point that, you know, the 8, the M7, you know, doesn't need the 4.4.4. .4. It could just actually go to the 5.0 Lollipop. So again, thank you guys for watching. Do leave a comment, rate, subscribe, if anything. And I'll keep you guys posted on any more new uh, developments on the M7. See you guys soon.